Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. We are here to complete our list with the iterator. It's necessary to walk through the entire list with the iterator. And uh, before that, we need to talk about phantom data and why and when we use the phantom, phantom data in our data structure. The question is when and why we should phantom data. When working with unsafe code, we can often end up in the situation where types or lifetime are logically associated with the struct, but not actually part of the field. As you can see, we use a T uh, on a list, but it's not part of the uh, struct, just be passed to the node. So. We need to, another situation, when we use a iterator with a lifetime, lifetime is uh, not part of the struct. Type is unused with the struct body, it's unbounded. Because of the trouble this has historically caused, unbounded lifetime and types are forbidden in a struct. We need to somehow refer to these types in a body. Correctly doing this is necessary to have a correct variance and drop checking. We do this using phantom data with a special marker type and don't worry, phantom data consume no space but simulate a field of the given type for the purposes of the static analysis like drop check. So let's, let's use phantom data in our list. Write a mark. Let's name that marker, marker, it's phantom data, this must be box, node T. Instead of node T, we need to pass a box because we use a box to consume node here. So for a static analysis, the drop check need about a box too. So we pass a box here. Okay, we need to do some changes in our code when we are creating a list. And don't worry, the behavior of the phantom data is not affect in your uh, code. So let's do it here too. We do the marker and we just need to write the phantom data here. You don't need to pass anything to the phantom data. Okay, it's enough for talking about the phantom data. Maybe in the future I'm going to talk about the phantom, phantom data more, but you should know about uh, the unbounded uh, type or lifetime. And if you use an unbounded type or a lifetime, you must refer to that type or a lifetime with the phantom data because it's necessary for drop check and static analysis. Okay, let's go to create or implement our iterator for the link list. To iterate over the element of the link list, we need to create another struct. So, we just duplicate the list and rename it to iter and we need to pass a lifetime to the T. But a lifetime is not used uh, in the field. So we need the phantom data to uh, refer the lifetime. We duplicate the list, rename it to the iter. Okay, it's really easy. And we need to pass a lifetime because iterator complain about the lifetime when we want to implement the iterator. So we need pass a lifetime to T here. And we need to remove a box because we don't need to care, really care about the box here because all uh, the object uh, knows right now about the box because we implemented in the list. So we just need pass a lifetime here instead of the, uh, box and it needs to be share so struct uh, we define a 
iterator for iterator over the element. But we we use the last element to the tail, so we need to walk through to the tail too. So another uh, method exists in the iterator. It's named last, and it's going to uh, walk through to the to the tail to the tail. Okay, so we need to implement the last here, but we need to uh, use a double-ended iterator to walk through from the len, and we can use the next pack here. Okay, let's before implement a uh, double-ended iterator because we have a link list. So instead, iterator, we use the double-ended iterator and we need to implement the next bag. It's the same in the next, you just need to copy, paste here, but instead of the head, we use a tail and uh, we need to replace with the tail here. And of course, we need to replace with the previous. That's it. You implement a doubly in the iterator. So I need to do some changes because we need to, uh, item must be a re references of the T. We don't need this because I think it's not, it's, we don't really care about the size here. And yes, self item is enough. And you just need to say self dot next back. And uh, it must be moot. Yes. We are we implement a iterator for the iter and the next thing we need to uh, use a method to link list to call the iterator. Let's create iter function method in our list. Okay, let's do it. We implement it here. Maybe it's good to implement here. Okay, pop fn iter use the share self, and we just need to return an iter. We don't really care about the lifetime here because we don't need it's unused. Iter and we need to set tail must be self dot tail head must be self self dot head so len must be self dot len mark uh, must be phantom data don't need to uh, care about the phantom data it's just a marker okay let's try to some test over the traitor let's scroll down to write a test let's duplicate one of them rename it to push and return And uh, let's remove here also. Okay, we need a four item in list.iter. I'm oh, sorry. Let's print one by one and item. Okay, let's run it. Sorry, we need the parentheses. Okay, let's scroll down. Yes, as you can see, we print all of the item in the, our list. Let's uh, 
define some method for len and clear the list. Okay. Mm -mm. Let's go to top of the implementation after the new pub fn len which on a u size let's need to self that len and we need to pass the self here don't need a semicolon let's define a clear okay so uh we don't need the u size First, we need to dereference the self. Uh, it must be multiple, sorry. Mood, self, and we just write the self that new. Create a new self to clear all elements in our list. I think that's enough for today. Maybe in the future, I add some feature to the list and explain about it but i think it's enough and i hope you understand all about the linked list how they work in the rust and how can you use a non-null and use unsafe code in your future program okay i hope uh, that would be enough have a good day take care of yourself